I can't believe I didn't think to do this in the last episode. We caught a Mankey, and I can't believe I forgot to, I didn't make his nickname this. Get it? Because, like, the monk meme, but with mank because it's a mankey. Hey, everybody, it's the Mechmaster14. Welcome back to more Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. In the last episode, we fought the first coach trainer that we've ever encountered, and we made it a bit closer, or I guess, further away from Pewter City. And I believe we talked to some people at this Pokemon Center. Maybe we have Sing's Pokemon Get Drowsy. When you try to catch a Pokemon, you'll see a green ring. Easy to catch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe there's someone that we can talk to in these Pokemon centers. Is it you? Team Rocket attacking the good people of the Cerulean City and make their own homes. Alright. Avoid Team Rocket, I guess. If you catch a lot of Pokemon, you'll end up with more than you can carry in your party. But all the ones that you can't carry, you'll just have to... Alright. Hello there, lady. I've got just a deal for you. I have a secret Pokemon, a Magikarp, just for five hundred dollars. The button, all right? Sure. You got an, outra got an outrageous five hundred dollars and bought a Magikarp. It's not that outrageous. Magikarp. Fans are being very unreliable. I can be found swimming in seas, lakes, rivers, and shallow puddles. Alright, so we got ourselves a Magikarp. So who should we replace? Um... Can't think of someone good. How about... Yeah, Ratty. Sorry. So we already have a we already have a normal type in uh, Forgotten the Pidgey, so I don't really think we need a Raticate right now. But that's just the decision I'm making. If you wanted to keep Raticate, well then I guess it's off. You found an escape rope. Escape ropes will be useful pretty soon, as you'll soon see. I came from Mount Moon, a faraway place, because I want a Pokemon I can ride on. That's right, you can ride on certain Pokemon like Onyx. Yes, Brock's trusty rock snake. Alright, I skip over to you. Hello there, I'm a coach trainer at your service. You wanna train for a bit? Sure. And we're fighting this coach trainer with essentially only one only five out of six Pokemon. Because that Pokemon we just got, Magikarp, is completely useless until it gets higher level. So... Let's try Headbutt. Payday. How'd that do so much damage? Coins scattered everywhere. Did you use Headbutt? Let's try Gust. Payday, this is gonna knock out Pidgey. Yeah, this Meowth is actually pretty tough. And it was a crit to top it off, so... Sorry, Pidgey. Alright, who's next? How about Pika? I know he has a fighting move. And, fun fact, normal types like Meowth are only weak to fighting attacks like... this one, Double Kick. Payday... Doesn't do a whole lot to Pika. Okay, it finished him off. It's two times. Yeah, fainted. Pokemon in the party gain experience. Obreon. Like Umbreon? Oh yeah, that's one other thing. When someone uses the move Payday... Ooh. Ooh, TM57 Payday. Alright, that's a pretty useful move because it, like, scatters money around that you can pick up after a battle. And now I'm going to heal up my Pokemon again because I fainted one of them and I want a full health party before we head on to Mount Moon.
Alright, let's head on. It should be right here. And look, there's a Meowth sleeping on the, uh, roof. Mount Moon? They look familiar. Looks like there's nothing here. Then let's let's search further in. You! You were eavesdropping on us just now, weren't you? Meowth, you were supposed to be keeping watch! Arr! We know there's rare fossils buried around here somewhere. <laughs> if you got any, you better hand them over to us, you twerp. That's right. If anyone is going to profit off those rare fossils, it's going to be us. Ha 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 ha! Yep, those, that's Jesse and James from uh, the Pokemon anime. And if you didn't know who they were, well, now you know. You found a potion. But more importantly, we found a new Pokemon. This is... Paris. Get your Pokeball through the moving ring. You can get a bonus technique. When the ring gets smaller, there's a chance... That's your chance to try and snag a great bonus. Just telling us stuff we already know. There we go! Sometimes this sometimes the Pokeball throwing mechanic in this game works wonders, and sometimes it works blunders. Ooh, got an excellent throw that time. Pretty sure if you get like an excellent throw, it has a greater chance of catching a Pokemon than like a great throw, as you could just see. So, Forgotten and Mank both leveled up. Forgotten wants to learn the move Quick Attack. I'm gonna replace Mirror Move. I don't really like this move, I've never used it, and at least with Quick Attack we have some priority. Because, like, Quick Attack usually moves first. And Mank still hasn't learned a fighting move. And we're not going to use Paris because I really don't like Paris. But what we are going to catch now is this guy. Those of you who have played almost any other Pokemon game will recognize this guy and probably not like it. This is a Zubat. It's often commonly found in caves. It's very common. In this game, it moves around a lot, so it's hard to get like a bonus. I'm actually going to use, like, a berry on it. Still suck at throwing. And it ran away. You took... Stole the bait. There's this... And are you... Actually, I misspoke there. He said you are. This is a bug catcher. Sends out Butterfree. This is actually what Metapod evolves into. But it shouldn't be much of a match for our flying type. Gust should be pretty good. There we go. That was about half, half health. It uses Gust itself. Doesn't do nearly as much damage. And one last gust should finish the job. Magikarp grew to level 6, and he's getting there. We got 84 Poke Dollars for winning. We also got some uh, Poke Balls. Got 5 Great Balls, nice. And something I'd like to do with my party is I would like to I would like to move Mank out front just to get him some extra experience. And we also have a lot of Pokemon to catch in Mount Moon. So let's try Zubat again. That was a terrible throw. How was that not an excellent? I threw it right at the center of the circle. Alright, there we go. Uh, Zubat becomes useful in other Pokemon games, but in Let's Go Pikachu, he's not that useful. So, he's probably just going to get sent right to the box. Ooh, I bought Lord Poison Powder. That's nice. 
So this is a poison flying type. And we're not really going to be using it. This is a Geodude right here. This little rock guy. They were all over the place in uh, Pewter City. I hate that. I hate the throwing mechanics in this game sometimes. And of course it's an excellent throw after I can't get the first catch, uh, first ball bonus anymore. And of course it still breaks out anyways. Let's try a berry. There we go! I don't think I'm gonna be using a Geodude either because... Uh, well, I'll explain later. Alright, Pika grew up again. Grew up, leveled up. The Geodude. Yeah, I personally am not going to be using this thing. So I think there are a few things in, like, these craters sometimes. And what's this say? Beware, Zubat is a bloodsucker. Watch out for a leech life, no. Alright, we have another trainer. What? I'm waiting for my friends to find me here. Well, I can be your friend. You know what I'm saying. I don't know what I went what, what I meant by that. So Evelyn, Bell Sprout. We have yeah, we have Mank out front. Level 8, level 7. Let's go with a Scratch. Gross. Attack and special attack, Rose. You're gonna go for another Scratch. Fine left, don't kill me. Alright, I'm gonna switch out to, uh, Forgotten. He can take Vine Whips very easily. He is, uh, he does resist Grass-type moves, so... Growth again. Hopefully Gust will finish this thing off. There we go! Forgotten got some experience, Manx got some experience, and we defeated Evelyn. I lost. <laughs> That's what she said. Literally. Now I'm gonna try to heal up Manx a bit. I'll also heal up Forgotten. There she is again. Ugh, you're pretty fast for a kid. I'm not really, though. I just spent the entire time, like, doodling around. I think there's something in these craters sometimes. Alright, we found an awakening here. I believe this can wake up, like, a sleeping Pokemon. What? Don't sneak up on me. I, you're, you literally saw me, like, coming by, and you challenged me to a battle. How was I sneaking up on you? See, super nerd Jovan, or Yovan. Sends out a Grimer. I believe this is a pure poison type. Let's start off with Leer. Or is it just defenses? Pound? Nah, not too bad. Let's go for a scratch. Critical hit. Oh, this is not gonna do anything. And now Mank is poison. Yeah, poison does damage over time, so let's see. What else do we have? Yeah, we're gonna need Pika for this one. Pound. Shouldn't do too much. No. 
thunder shots. This should do a lot, hopefully. No. Ooh, paralysis! That's cool. Paralysis will, like, lower the opposing Pokemon's speed stat and will sometimes make them unable to move. So yeah, Grimer is actually pretty bulky. So you can tell because I'm actually having a hard time, like, taking it down. Alright, Mank grew to level 8. Hopefully he learned some better moves. Taunt, that's not... It's actually a kind of a good move. The Pidgey... Forgotten the Pidgey. Grew up to level 12. And we defeated Jovan. And he's crying. Alright, now is probably a good time to, to show off some of those other medicines. Hopefully I have some antidotes. I only have one. Alright, so... I'm gonna take Mank out of the lead and replace him with, uh, Oddball. And actually, one other thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon box. And I'm actually going to replace, um... I'm gonna get Ratty back. And I'm gonna add him to the party in place of Kakuna, because, like, Kakuna just doesn't do anything. It has no moves that do damage. So we found an ether here. You need to go through this cave to get to Cerulean City. Okay. Not sure how a little kid should know this. Youngster Robbie. This is a Mankey. Ooh. We actually have one of these. It's... Focus Energy, I believe this makes Critical hit land more easily. So yeah, Focus Energy just increases the chance that a move will be a critical hit. And now we'll absorb him. But it failed. <laughs> and that was just a one-hit KO. Critical hit, too! <laughs> I was the one who got the critical hit, not you, Mankey. You're the one who used Focus Energy, and I got the crit. I'm taunting a computer. Alright, what's up here? A repel. Ooh! A Clefairy! You don't see these around too often. I'm actually going to use a berry. Hopefully increase my catch chance. There we go. Excellent. There we go. First try. Clefairy, I don't know if I'm going to add to my party right away. I mean, it is level 9, but I don't know how good Clefairy is. Especially since my team's leveling up pretty good. Stun Spore. Let's see, Stun Spore, paralyzes the target, poisons the target. I'm actually going to replace Poison Powder with Stun Spore because I feel like slowing the target down will, will probably be more useful than poisoning a target, at least in uh, Oddball's case. Magikarp grew to level 7. And of course there's Clefairy. I know there are things in some of these craters. Ooh, a bag of stardust! I was right! Oh, there are a lot of Clefairies up here. Alright, let's... It's way prettier than you thought. What are you talking about there? You're not talking about what I think you're talking about, are you? Last Miriam, sent out Clefairy. Alright, now we'll actually get to see a bit more of Oddball, particularly his, uh, other move. Because Clefairy, as you can probably tell by the name, is a fairy-type, 
which just so happens to be weak to acid. A poison type move. Critical hit, wow, two critical hits in a row for Oddball. Pika grew to level 14, nice, that's always good. Ratty grew to level 10. And we beat Miriam. Now there was, before we actually head further that way, there was something I wanted to check down here. Yeah, right here. Sometimes there's some special stuff down here, I think. Just some Geodudes, but there's further, you can go further down. And we meet this guy. We, Team Rocket, are the Pokemon Bandits. We strike fear into others with our strength. And this is our first Team Rocket battle. Team Rocket are like the bad guys in this game. This is a Team Rocket grunt. Sent out a Rattata. So we, we have Oddball. Absorb. Used Quick Attack. Go, fight, and an acid should finish it off. Uses quick attack again. Oddball can take those hits pretty well. And that's the Rattata deck. We have some experience, and we beat the Team Rocket Grunt. Yeah, you did blow it. I'm just a kid and you lost to me. Call yourselves criminals. We found a rare candy. Ooh, this is actually a pretty good item. A rare candy will, act will automatically make a Pokemon level up by one level. And looks like there's nothing else down here, so let's head back up. Is there anything in here? No. Just so you know, every time I approach one of these craters, I'm like pressing A hoping to find something. But it seems like there's nothing every time. Except for the time we found like the Stardust. And this is not the right way. We have to go up. Follow these guys. Yikes, quit following us. You ha you've had so much time to get away from me. I'm so slow. Anyways, guys, I think that's all the time we're going to have for this episode. Next time on uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, we're going to be heading further through Mount Moon, hopefully getting to the other side, and finding out more about those strange people who I already told you the name of. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you can, like, comment, and subscribe because that really help out the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. McMaster, out.